Hello everyone, I'm really happy to have with me Ali William Hobson's, um, I hope I pronounced your name right, um, <laughs> for an interview about what it's like to be in my course 30 Days in the Vortex. So first, thank you so much for accepting my invitation to be interviewed. Oh, really thank you for having me. I, I'm the special one. I feel special. Oh. <laughs> and um, let's just get through the questions. So the first questions I wanted to ask you is what kind of difficulties were you facing before you joined the course? What motivated you so, to join it in a way? Oh, so for me, I guess I've always been kind of looking for that little piece that I have always felt that I've been missing. You know, some, I've done lots of work and lots of courses and things, but I've always kind of felt like I've, obviously I've been missing something. And, you know, I love all of the work that you do, Anj, and we've been connected for a few years now. So I knew that by doing that course that you would be able to help me figure out within myself what that missing piece might be oh well that, i feel really honored by that thank you <laughs> um so had you done a manifesting course before i've done quite a few and um you and i have even in the past popped up you know yeah. in those that's same how we courses. met actually so, yeah, we met that's exactly that, right yeah exactly manifesting course yeah that's right yeah about um four years ago now so I've done lots of little things along the way, lots of online courses, but also lots of work, um, you know, away from online as well to try and um, help push through those things. And I have come a long way over those um, last few years, but I still just kind of always have had that niggling feeling that I just don't think I'm doing something right, you know? Okay. Oh, that's really interesting. Thank you so much for that feedback. I'm, I'm looking forward to your other answers, <laughs> given what you've just said. So what was your expectation before you joined? Well, I knew that whatever you were going to share would be amazing and that I would learn something new about myself and about this realm and this space that we all find so fascinating. And... I knew that just by going with the process and trusting um, by however you were going to run it, that I would get something big out of it and not just one thing. I knew that, I just knew that it was the best thing that I could be doing for me, oh, following well, you. <laughs> that is really humbling. Honestly, I didn't expect you to say something like that, but I take it and thank you so much. And it's important to follow your intuition. I'm glad you mentioned that because I don't want anybody to join just because of this testimonial. I want them to yeah. make sure that it feels right for them because yeah. I'm not right for everyone yeah. and they need to find the right person to take you through the process that's going to work for them. So yeah. well done on following your well, intuition. And in fact, that intuitive thing was to be part of the original five day challenge. Mm. and knowing that that would absolutely flow through to something else because there's always so much gold in your little five-day challenges but I know that it's going to be backed up with something better to come too so I, I know to expect that from you <laughs> <laughs> oh thank you right so did you find it easy to fit into your life because i've had the question from some people in the group that you know a good program people fall off the wagon the challenge yeah. been quite intense so maybe people are afraid to join thinking oh my god i can't sustain that for 30 days so oh uh, yeah and i i totally get that and i think lots of people think that when you do run an, an intense challenge like the one that you've just run and they think it's going to be like that for 30 days in a row, but it's not, you know, it really is um, self-paced and self-discovery. And, you know, I work full time as well as coaching women um, after hours for myself. And I've got a big family with six kids and all yeah. the rest of it. <laughs> um, You're a busy yeah. lady, aren't you? <laughs> I am a busy lady, but I also really love having that structure and I want to get my homework done because I know that that ultimately is elevating me to the next level. So I always found that once I you know, got home from work, did what I need, needed to do to be mum and family and all the rest of it, 
I would sit down and I'd say to, say to my husband, right, I'm doing my homework now. And it was only ever a few minutes and it was always such a fabulous read. You know, each day I was kind of excited to see what the new unit was going to be because, yeah, your information just blows me away. Oh, so for me, it wasn't onerous. And I might, with all of that going on for myself, I might have had maybe one or two days where I didn't get to it that day or I had certainly read every day what I needed to needed to do but it might might have maybe been the second day of catching up on those tasks but that's you know I do leave an extraordinarily busy life that's just how I roll but yeah I got through no problem I think anybody who wants to create the space for this in their life they will because yeah you have to show up you, though it's still up to you yeah it? absolutely yeah. you have to show up and when you create that intention to create that space in your life to prioritize it you will opportunities for time will appear and you'll create that As space well. in your life that's what we all create for ourselves we can choose to create that time or not yeah we just As you did know. day four so that's quite interesting yeah uh, yesterday or oh, two days ago was day four which is about manifesting time now i had yeah. another small question about that because you did four four rounds with me uh, how did it feel the second, third or fourth time? Because we go through the same material, really. It's like we rinse and repeat. Yeah. And I'm curious yeah. to see what it feels like from a recipient point of view. It's really interesting. And particularly, you know, by the time getting to the fourth round, just seeing how on some of those units that we went through, just seeing how differently I actually felt about some of that stuff. And how far, you know, in the first round, the stuff that I had um, written in there and how, how differently I, it was kind of interesting being the observer actually mm. and going back and seeing that journey from the first round to only in that short space of time, um, you know, by round four, just seeing the transition that I had been through in that time. And again, I have done a lot of this work and I've been working on myself for a really long time, but there's always more to discover and more to up level. And as long as we allow that for ourselves, and it was just, it was really nice to see that transition, you know? Yeah. And I enjoyed to, it too. I really yeah, did. And I, it surprised me as well. Yeah. yeah. And to be able to keep transitioning to the next level up in my life. And I just think, Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm rocking this, you know, this is cool <laughs> being, able, being um, able to see, being able to see the growth, I guess mm. is the word I'm probably looking for. Yeah. 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 And this is, it's been the same for me, as you know, I, I take the course as well. Yeah. I keep doing it. Yeah. because It's so good. Um. Oh, and I love, I love how you just, you're, you fully immerse yourself as much as, as we all do. And you just, you own it. You, you know, you're doing this with us as we go, which makes me feel a huge amount of trust for you, knowing that you're not just, um, you know, preaching to us and whatever. You do actually walk the talk and you do the work with us, which I love about oh, you. Thank you. It, it is one of my mantras that I always walk the talk. Um, yeah. So thank you. And um, what would you say is your biggest outcome from the... From the oh. The day that we got to the juicy stuff about the credit cards, that was massive for me. And you know my story, and you know, you yeah. know I've been through breast cancer, had a couple of years of my husband not working, being my carer. I was hardly working and was the only way that we could survive was, you know, racking up this huge credit card debt. And we've just, both of us actually, have spent a huge, a wasted or expressed a huge amount of energy um being negative and and guilty and all of the negative connotations that go around that debt but after going through that unit with you i was just like oh my god mic drop moment and i discussed it at great length with my husband and we really turned around our frame of frame of mind about how we felt about that debt and how we're dealing with it and moving forward with it and changed our mindset around it completely that was the hugest thing for me it was a massive lesson massive 
Oh, I'm, this makes me so happy because I just want to lift the shame around it as well. The shame, the resentment totally. and everything else because yeah. things happen. And yeah. And I yeah. have actually felt towards my credit cards, a lot of gratitude because if I hadn't had them, mm. I would have lost my home. And oh, total game changer, changing that mindset around that debt. Us too, we would have lost our home as well. And we've got six kids to put in it. You know, we yeah. can't lose our home. Uh, yeah, so, I have four. So yeah. that was the same. Well, yeah, yours is a bigger, shift. a bit bigger than my family, but still yeah. pretty. <laughs> Okay, it's all relative. <laughs> what's your favorite bit? And I know you've already talked a lot about all the things that you love, but what if you had to pinpoint one, what is your favorite bit? Reading your interpretation of how you deliver that lesson. You know, it you know, as I said, I've been doing a lot of this work for a long time. So a lot of the stuff that you include in this course may have been stuff that I have seen before, but it's the way that you interpret it and it's the way that you give the examples that just helps put everything in place and you're just real it's just real and it's nothing complicated it's nothing overwhelming it's all really um you know simple um i can't think of the word brain fade right now after the week I've just had oh. uh, concepts simple concepts yeah and you know this stuff doesn't have to be difficult and complex and overwhelming it's not often is it you know it's it's really it's quite simple and it's the way that you deliver that lesson for me is what I love the most about it oh thank you thank you and what would you say to someone who's sitting on the fence about joining. Oh, do it do it yeah. if you if 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 anyone who had the inkling to join the um you know the five day challenge in the first time the 30 day course is next level absolutely do it because even if they're contemplating it's a sign that um there's some there's going to be something in it in that there for them if they are receiving that message or that inspiration that maybe they should give it a go just do it because there'll be something in it for them and there'll be something that follows afterwards for them if they do the work you know mm. just we have someone in australia called molly meldrum who's very famous around the world and his catchphrase is do yourself a favor you know so do yourself a favor <laughs> oh thank you so much <laughs> And I, I would love for you to talk a little bit about yourself as well and tell people where they can find you um, because I, I just love you so much. I just want everyone to, you know, to get more and to get to know you and follow you on Facebook and all sorts of things and on your blog. Uh, thank you. And thank you for the opportunity to share that with everyone. So, yes, after um, going through my own breast cancer journey, I transitioned and, and did some study and now coach women um, to, to go from surviving to thriving and, you know, acknowledge the trauma that they've been through and, and then put um, practices into place to help people move from that position that can hold us back and keep us stuck and move through into being thriving and loving yourself and looking after yourself and that's what we put out into the world and then that changes our experience you know so, and i'm just really passionate about helping women as you know i spent uh, you know i went through huge childhood trauma spent a lot of time throughout my teenage and adult years self-loathing and you know lack of self-confidence all kinds of things and was able to completely turn my life around and now i can help others do that and it's just i just love it so much so um probably the best place to find me is my facebook page which is called raw and completely beautiful and i have a blog of the same name although that website's under construction at the moment um, or my Facebook group, The Self Love Project. Um, oh, lovely. And, um, I will include the links yeah. under this video so that people yeah, can find right. it. Yeah. Thank and, you so much yeah. for oh, all the welcome. beautiful things you've said. And I know you wouldn't lie to people just to make, uh, you know, to, to please me. So uh, <laughs> that doesn't serve anybody. That certainly uh, wouldn't serve me if I was, <laughs> you know, not genuine. So, no. Um, I just. Um, 
I thank you so much for what you bring to the world, Anj, because you really do make a difference in many people's lives and you're a special person and I love you very much. Oh, I love you too. Thank you. That went straight to my heart. So I Good. look forward to seeing you a little bit in the group, although I know you're very busy at the moment with a little bit of drama happening in your life and maybe you just want to get have a good rest. Um, <laughs> but of course, I, I look forward to seeing you in the group in the 30 days. I'm looking the forward to it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting stuck in again now. It's, it's good yeah. timing. I've done next, a couple of tweaks the, today to it. Oh. Not massively, but a couple of little tweaks here and there. So make sure you right. post properly. <laughs> There'll be some right. uh, slight changes. Okay. I look forward to that. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone for watching this video. And I hope to see you in the group, in the, in the program. Bye for now. Absolutely. Um,